Hey everybody, welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. Randy's in out of town right now, so he called up Alyssa and wanted me to come out here and do a video. So I'm gonna show you a couple houses. Right here, this one's a eight by 28 Transu, and Bart's building it. He's got a couple guys helping him, like Landon and uh, oh Ray, Ray's back. Hey Bart, sir, hey, come down here and tell me about the house. Sir, this is Transu. You gotta tell us about the house a little bit. Okay. So we're doing the uh, white ship lap. Teddy primed it all. Yep. We'll paint it after it's all complete. You know, when the house gets closer to completion. Spray foam ceiling. What kind of gap are you using on that? 316. There you go, 316 space on all of them. All metal loft, quarter inch angle iron. All metal dual loft. Dual staircase. Yeah, this loaded. loft almost covers the whole entire second floor, so. This it's house is really loaded, nice. it's got everything. Yeah, flip up, glass tables, and all kinds of stuff. Had so much in it, I was like, hey Bart, you wanna build this one? <laughs> I guess. So I didn't have to do it. Why not? Yeah, and we have Landon too for a little yeah, while. He's, wow. to, he's going to UT full ride, so we'll have him for a couple more months, I guess, right? No, about three weeks. About three weeks. About yep, three it's weeks. Not. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll move on. Yep. AC unit. That's the line set right there. So AC will go there. Metal loft. What else do we have in here? Um, it's a lot of options on cabinetry. Uh, sliding glass wall. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's going to be a three-piece sliding glass wall. So we have that on order now. That'll be really yeah. interesting when that comes in. Fold right. down deck. We've got an awning. Fold yeah, down the nice. exterior deck. That's going to be recessed a little bit. Yep. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. Yes. He'll be on this one in about three months. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll go over here. Sister Judith is. Judith. It's uh, 10 by 30. We have Kevin over here working on it, so let's go bug him. What are you working on, Dennis? Dude, cabinets. Cabinets. Oh, yeah, he's building the drawers, I guess, right? Yep. All right, right here. Solid plywood. One by two front. He's building all the drawers. So this is a solid drawer base. Is that a drawer down there in the bottom, the big one? So that'll be three drawers and then a sink base? Seven drawers all together. Two doors. Seven drawers and two doors. You can see it's all three quarter inch plywood. Hardy, I mean, it's heavy duty. Oh, yeah. This is a sink base? Yeah. All right. So kitchen sink will go here. There'll be a little dummy door and then two doors on the bottom. So. Nice and dummy. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go around here. Got a water heater in there, tankless. I think Kevin's hooking that up right now. Working on putting in the uh, the gas for it, the hard pipe. So I'll come around here. by 30. This thing's a beast. Yeah. So we have a inverted loft here. Two. Two. two no, we have two lofts. So this one's oh. down lower. There's like be the living area up top. The bedroom down below. And then what's this one? Storage. Storage. Got another loft here. Storage. So, and this one was spray foam, right? Spray foam. Yeah. So spray foam. You got the big 1 by 12 on the walls. Uh, what color is this? Not butterscotch, is it? Butterscotch. butterscotch. Three quarter inch butterscotch. We do our uh, vapor barrier from the bottom. We use closed cell foam. So we just put the hardwood right over top of the plywood. Never had any issues out of it. We've been you know, building three years now. Everything's been working out really well. This is Kevin right here. What are you guys doing in my house? We had a bunch of this one. That's Joe and Jesse helping them out. What's the layout? Obviously, in, you know, reverse loft, reverse normal yeah. loft, stairs, which up there. Uh, stairs there and stairs there. Two yeah. sets? Uh-huh. It's big. This one's a mess. Ten by thirty. Six-inch tongue groove on the ceiling. Good. 
That's what Sister Judith wanted. So yep. that's what Sister Judith got. <laughs> so she's been by a couple times. Yeah. It looks good, man. Yeah. Come done, along. With done with the floor today. And then Dennis is working on the cabinet, so that'll go in tomorrow. Uh, yeah, once the floor is done, we can install it because there's no, uh, I think it all gets cleared, maybe. I'm not sure. I have to have a teddy on that. Yeah. All right. Actually, he asked me about that wall go. It's going to be clear. Okay. So the outside, you got metal and wood mixture. The roof's already on it. It's our gutter. So three or four days on the outside, three or four days on the inside. Boom, done. It'll be done. It'll be done fast, huh? Yeah, boom, build, boom, done. Uh, all right, so this one is a Devon door. All hardy. We're going to wrap the face in metal. Replace the soffit with uh, hardy as well, so we'll have no wood on the outside at all. Nothing but hardy on the exterior. This one has the... Uh, washer and dryer combo unit built into the tongue box. So we framed it all, spray foamed it, and then it'll just be put in from the inside. So you'll access it from the bathroom. Pretty good, puts it out of the way. It looks like uh, they heard us coming. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> split. So your main living area right there, they wanted an elevated floor. This is their bamboo floor. It's awesome. Super hardwood. Uh, main living room, AC unit, the loft up here. It's got the railing here is solid, so that'll be the stairs. If you spin around, they're going to be right there against that front wall. You'll go up to the left, you'll go up in the loft, and there'll be a massive bedroom up there. So you have about, I guess, 50 inches or something like that clearance. So main living. We had uh, the bamboo put on this morning, so we papered it and taped it up, keep it from getting scratched. And this is shiplap as well, just like the house down there I showed you. Same reveal, and Teddy's gonna paint it all white. I think we're gonna paint these circle window trims white, so that'll be all white. Um, if you back up here and look, oh, this area right here, kitchen. All right, we got a refrigerator there kitchen sink and a couple cabinets over here as well and then right back here is the bathroom area so 36 inch shower this is going to be a vanity bolted right here once the TNG's on this has got a medicine cabinet built in so we framed all that in ready to go and they're getting a compost toilet right there and I just started working on the stairs a little bit playing with it see if I can get it all to fit in there with the uh, washer and dryer unit right here. This is gonna get cut out and it just barely fits in. You'll have like a baby quarter inch all the way around. So it's pretty tight. Other than that, that's it on this one. They got a really cool front door the homeowner's ordered. Solid composite, already painted. It's really cool. All right. So everything on the house will be 100% either hardy or composite. Nothing will rot. No bugs will eat it. Because the wood boring bees come and just tear pine up. That's it. We'll go over here. Check out Brett's. Brett's house right here. Before he runs away. Alright, Brett. The car is for Harris house. Yeah, we won't. But uh Spahar. The car uh the car is Spahar, it's the owner of this house. Bukara. That's your first one. First okay. One. Yep. It's 16 footer? 16 by 8. You got okay. it. I've been on this one, so I really haven't been over here much. Tell us about it. What's it getting on the outside? It is getting a lap siding with a, a, I believe it's a 7 inch reveal. It might be a 6. We'll have okay. to. 6 uh, or 7. 6 or 7 inch. Lots of windows. So horizontal. Lots of windows, yeah. Um, a couple single hungs, a couple hoppers, one egress in the back. Uh, it's getting over here, there's going to be a really neat. Uh, Be an octagon window, about about two feet by about two feet. We'll have to frame in, you know, the rest of it uh, when, when we get the window. Yeah, <laughs> which might be sitting right there. I'm not checking right. yet, but so all of her windows are in a pile over there, next to the explosive material. No, I'm just kidding. That's empty. 
And then this window up here is uh, four feet wide. That's just a temporary board. Is it a slider? No, it is a decorative, uh, it's like a stained glass window. It's oh, gonna go cool. We'll frame in and then seal in with two, uh, two panels of uh, glass. And okay. then, uh, yeah, so the window or the roof line is gonna be an arch roof. So that'll go up and over. And then once that's in, you'll just finish framing it into the gateway. Same thing on the other side with that egress window. It sticks, it sticks about two inches into the, into the top. Okay. Alright. Sounds like they're having a hard time with that floor. <laughs> and you only have a 2-6 front door, right? It is 2-6, yeah. Two so six. it's going to be the arched. Okay. Uh, arched oh, top just door. like the Highland. The it's a Highland style house. door, yeah, but it'll be 30. Yeah, yeah. just like the thatch house. Cool. 30, so we'll build that as well. Alright, so this one's still pretty fresh. Is it getting spray foam or fiberglass? It's getting spray foam. Spray foam, yeah. Okay. So, there you, as you can tell, the rafters aren't on, so all the bracing's still on. Uh, none of the plumbing or electrical, that'll be tomorrow, this week, maybe. Yep. As soon as we get the roof on, then we'll get Jeff out here to wire it, and then we'll plumb it, and then uh, Jesse will take care of the spray foam. But we had to get the shower in because if we don't do it now, then we have to use a two piece because obviously the door is only 30 inches. And this is a 3L, 36. Right. So that's going to sit. Yeah. It's going to sit in our So way. basically, we're going to build a tiny house around the shower. Exactly. Yeah. And then shuffle it around. Once, once the loft frame in, we'll just take and fill it in the loft. There you go. Out of the way. But it's pretty cool. Got some gas running here. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all we have going on right now besides the 15 motors we're wrapping up. So thanks for tuning in. If you got any questions, uh, throw them on there and Alyssa will answer them. <laughs> See you, everybody.